and welcome back to Plan Prep. Today we're going to be looking at how to load data from Yahoo Finance without leaving your Jupyter Notebook and we're also going to be creating some nice candlestick charts using MPL Finance. So the first thing you will want to do is load the libraries we're going to be using. So it is going to be import numpy as mp, import pandas as pd, and we are also going to be needing MPL Finance, obviously. And we are also going to be using Pandas Data Reader, which is going to allow us to load the data from Yahoo Finance. And finally, we are also going to import data, which is going to allow us to create data in objects. And our, our last step is going to type matplotlib inline so that we can create graphs seamlessly. So now that we are done with our first step, we are going to be creating our daytime objects. So this is going to be start and end. We are going to be using these daytime objects to tell Yahoo Finance from which day we want our stock data to which date. So basically we're just going to use daytime.daytime and the format here is year, month and day. So here we have 2020 from January 1st all the way to December. So we're just going to call daytime.daytime again and we're just going to type our dates. So the next step is going to be using pandas data reader. First we're going to create an object which is going to be a data frame. We're going to call it apple and then we're going to use pandas data reader web dot and here we need to capitalize so let me erase that so it is data re data reader and we're just going to first pass our ticker so it is going to be apple and next we're going to specify which api we are using in this case we're going to be using yahoo's api and finally we just pass our start date and our end date and as you can see we have our data frame we have everything we need now so the next step is just going to be using MPL Finance. So that's going to be MPF because we load it that way, dot plot. And we just passed our data frame. And as you can see, we already have a very nice graph and it was very easy to create. So now let me show you a bit of customization. So the first thing we're going to do is add the volume traded each day. So that's going to be volume equal to true. And as you can see, we can we have the volume right here. And our next step is going to be changing the size because we are using so many data, it might be better to make it look bigger. So we're going to go with 15 by 10. That's going to be fit ratio equal to 15, 10. And as you can see, it looks better. And we are also going to be using style equal to Yahoo. And there are a lot of custom styles that you can check out and as you can see it might be better to go with a slightly bigger graph so let's try 20 by 10 yeah i think that looks way better and finally we can, ju can just add our title which is going to be apple 2020 so let's see how it looks and as you can see we have created a very nice looking graph but maybe a good idea would be to select a smaller time period so that we can look more deeply into how the candlesticks actually look. So for this we're going to be using Ford. And basically we're just going to do the same thing. So we're just going to create new start and end dates. And for this we're just going to be using December from 2020 and since I've run it, it has changed and now we use the same code that we've used. We're just going to create a date frame for a data frame for Ford. So that's going to be the T ticker F and basically everything else stays the same. So let's see how it looks. So let's type Ford and here we have our data frame. And as you know, we are ready to plot. So that's going to be MPF dot plot. We just passed our data frame as, and as you can see, we have much more details since we are using a 
shorter time period. We're going to use type equal to candlestick. So let's run it and see how it looks. And as you can see, we have a very nice candlestick chart for Ford. We are also going to be using the style from Yahoo again. And finally, we're going to just add the volume. So that's volume equal to true. And here we have our nice graph. So thank you for watching.